and welcome to episode two of Where Does My Fluid Go? In this episode, we will be solving for CT, which represents the percent strength of your solution. Now, this may be a very common element of the primary dilution factor solution to solve for, because you may have fluid available to you that you're going to put in it. The purpose of solving for CT is to determine how strong you have made your solution with the available arterial fluids. So we will begin with our calculation, our formula here at the top. The CB will represent the index of your bottle. The VB will represent the volume of your bottle. The CT, of course, will represent the percent solution strength, and VT will represent the total volume of your solution. Here at the bottom, we have the elements of the potential solution that we would be putting together. We have interfluent, which is an arterial fluid. We have proflow, which is a type of supplemental fluid. We have restorative, which is another type of supplemental fluid. And then, of course, we have water, which will be acting as our solvent. But what goes where? When you are solving for CT, or percent solution strength, you will already know the index of your arterial fluid. You will also already know the amount of fluid that you have available to you. And you will also have set your total volume uh, before you begin. So, for example, we have Intrafiant. It is a 30 index fluid and it is a 16 ounce bottle. So if we are going to find its home in the uh, formula, we can see that we put it under the 30 index here. We know that we have 16 ounces of it available to us, representing our BV. And we know that we are going to add 16 ounces to our total volume. The other two fluids that we have chosen are supplemental fluids. They do not have an index, and each bottle is worth 16 ounces apiece. Therefore, they will only be added to our total volume. So as you can see here, we have added two, these two 16 ounce bottles to our total volume. Total volume is made up of, in this case, 16 ounces of hydrofinant, 16 ounces of proflow, 16 ounces of restorative, and a yet to be determined amount of water. Well. How can we figure that out? Well, first we have to determine the amount of total solution we'd like to make. One gallon is good for children or perhaps a second injection. Two gallons is a common amount, will be good for most people. And three gallons is good for cases such as autopsies or cases requiring a lot of fluid. To determine what our total volume uh, amount of water will be, we will take 256 ounces or two gallons, which we will set, and we're going to subtract 16 ounces of interfluent. We're going to subtract 16 ounces of proflow. We're going to subtract 16 ounces of restorative to arrive at the difference of 208 ounces of water. So when we see our total volume, it will contain, it will be 256 ounces. That will contain 16 ounces of arterial fluid, 16 ounces of proflow, one type of supplemental fluid, 16 ounces of restorative, which is another type of restorative or supplemental fluid, and then a total of 208 ounces of water. Those added together, equals 256, which accounts for our total volume. Next, we need to calculate for CT, or percent strength of the solution, in order to do that. 
we will multiply 30 times 16, and we will combine 256 and CT, represented here by the variable X, in order to separate the X from our 256 here. We must divide both sides by 256 to arrive at the percent solution of 1.88%, and that will become our CT. So, as you can see, we have figured out where all of our fluid goes. We have our 30 index in introfiant. We have 16 ounces of that. We have calculated for CT and arrived at a 1.88% solution strength. And we have recognized that we have a total volume that includes 16 ounces of introfiant, 16 ounces of proflow, 16 ounces of restorative, and 208 ounces of water. But what if we replace the proflow and the introfiant with water? A VT stays the same. So in this case, our total volume will simply be introfiant, 16 ounces, and 240 ounces of water. So when we look at that compared to our equation, again, we have our 30 index arterial fluid that we are going to use 16 ounces of. We don't yet know our percent solution strength, but we do have our total volume of 256 ounces that contains 16 ounces of introfiance and contains 240 ounces of water. So once again, we will calculate for percent solution strength, or CT. And as you can see, the equation looks exactly the same as when we had included the supplemental fluids. And that's because it's the same. CT with supplemental chemicals and CT with no supplemental chemicals are the same. That is because supplemental chemicals don't have an index and therefore don't affect the percent strength of your solution as long as your total volume remains the same. But what happens to CT when VT is increased? Uh, yes, this is a very good question indeed. So in this case, let's take our 16 ounces of arterial fluid, 16 ounces of proflow, 16 ounces of restorative, but instead of only 208 ounces of water, let's make it a full two gallons of water, which we will then add these other chemicals to afterwards. So in this case, that will increase our total volume to 304 ounces, because it now includes 16 ounces of our arterial fluid, 16 ounces of proflow, 16 ounces of restorative, and two gallons of water. So we're going to calculate for CT. We will, again, multiply 30 by 16 to arrive at 480. We will combine CT and 304 to separate the variable out, we will divide both sides by 304, and result will be 1.6%. So as you can see, in that case, the solution strength goes down. But what happens to CT when VT is decreased? So let's say, in this case, what we are going to do is we are going to simply remove the proflow and rectifiant from our total volume, but not replace it with water. Again, we'll calculate for CT by multiplying 
30 by 16 to arrive at 480. To combine our variable with 224, in order to separate those two out, we will divide both sides by 224, resulting in a CT or variable in 2%. So in that case, once you have decreased your total volume and not replaced it with any water, it will increase. So the takeaway from this is supplemental fluids have no effect on CT as long as VT is a constant. CT goes down when VT gets larger or what we call more hypotonic or more dilute. And CT goes up when VT gets smaller, making it more hypertonic or less dilute or more concentrated, depending on what terms you are using.